What's wrong? <laughs> Mate, I'm ill. Wait, what you got? Bieber fever. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a long time. I know I always say it's a long time but like it has been a long time and I did promise I'd be doing a lot more videos. Personally, I decided to take a break from YouTube. And I think it was a well-deserved break because I wanted to film a lot more content for you guys. So today is going to be a decorate my uni accommodation with me kind of vlog. Um, basically, I moved into my new university accommodation yesterday. And this is going to be my final year accommodation. So this is the last time I'm going to be doing a video like this which is crazy i moved in yesterday um my house is really nice and today we are going to be decorating we're going to be decorating my room and a lot of people did like my segment of my first um university vlog where i kind of like was decorating my room and people like to see the process of me decorating my room because when i decorate my room i take it very seriously so like you know it, i thought it'd be fun for you guys to see how i like you know, plan my room, organize my room, decorate my room, etc. You know, you should make your accommodation room your home because you are going to be staying there for such a long time. What I've noticed is that when your room is very dull or not to what you want, your mood starts to um, decrease. It's because of like, you know, pathetic fallacy. I don't know if that's the word pathetic fallacy, pathetic, pathetic fallacy. Obviously, I take pride in making sure my room is perfect to how I want. I didn't get the chance to do that last year due to personal issues. Since this is going to be my final year of decorating my university accommodation, I decided I wanted it to be the best I wanted it to be. Before I start, um, I'm going to take you on a trip on how I exactly kind of like, like planned, like my aesthetic of exactly what I wanted. What I like to do first is I like to think of the exact aesthetic I want for my room. So what I usually do is I go on either We Heart It or Pinterest and I search up um, room aesthetics, etc. And if there's one I vibe with, then I try and find keywords that link to that aesthetic and start looking for picture inspiration, etc. That one, maybe what, what can I do to make sure that, that my room looks like that, etc. So once I found my perfect aesthetic, then I kind of like look at pictures on my actual room and see what exactly I need to put on the wall, um, measure dimensions of it and how big my pictures need to be, how big this needs to be, etc. I kind of do a lot of math. It's like really weird. I do a lot of math to see how many pictures, how big the pictures need to be, how small the pictures need to be, etc. Um, I know last year I went with more of like a jungly kind of like you know jungle garden kind of theme with all the vines and all the you know I, I incorporate a lot of green into my aesthetic in first year this year I want to incorporate more pink so as you've noticed I have a pink bonnet pink pajamas I'll show you in a second but my bed's all pink etc I will put a little bit more colors to the other side of my room because um, you'll notice later basically my room the What's it? The backboard for my desk is green, which is a little bit annoying because I wanted it to be pink, but like obviously I can't really tell them, hey, can you paint pink for me? So I was like, okay, that's calm. So what I'll do is that I'll put more of my greenish kind of stuff, which is not a lot. It'll only take a small percentage of my room, more to my desk side and then my bedside and like all around like my bed, which is like my cupboard and like my bathroom, etc., will all be like pink, if that makes sense. So my exact like aesthetic I wanted for my room was, um, 2k 90s pink inspired room so kind of like summer walker over it album cover vibes or like mean girl vibes or like like black girl pink aesthetic vibes kind of like thing i went on etsy and like um people sell like um folders with like loads of like pictures for like collages for like a certain aesthetic and i found a really good one on etsy so i i bought it downloaded it and printed it out so the first thing i'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut all these, like get rid of the borders and stuff. I'm gonna start sticking them all on my walls. So I'm gonna take you along with me. So let's go. Don't let it go, let it go. Don't let it slip away. She could be everything you wanted, everything you wanted, boy. Don't let that get away. 
After like, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half or two hours, I finally finished cutting. I have a couple spare ones just in case I need more, but they're kind of like the same prints and I want to avoid duplication, but I don't mind doing that if I have to. But yeah, it's all done. So this has all been trimmed and cut up. Okay, so how my blue tack ready and my photos ready? Um, my aim is to first start off with this whole wall and like down here and then go to the sides and i'm going to stop right there because i'm going to put like big um pop culture posters there but yeah i'm going to start maybe around like here go up there a little bit down there and then on the sides there <laughs> Okay, so I've done this area and it looks so good. I put up my Harley Quinn poster because I wanted to see how it's going to look next to there. There's a little bit of bare space, but I might leave it, but I'm not sure yet, depending on how much stuff I have left. And I am still want to do this side and that side, so like I'm not too sure yet. There's also that side that I might want to cover with like pictures. I think what I might do is that I'm going to cover this with more of the last photos. And then I'm just going to put as much posters as I can because I have like a Tokyo Ghoul poster and I have like a Rick and Morty poster and all that. So I think I'm going to put those posters there and I have a couple spare posters. So I might put that here. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put the last pink stuff here. So like this is like a pink corner. You get me? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's see how this works because I always kind of change my mind sometimes. Hey, okay, so update on the room. I've finished... The cupboard side here i decided to put my spirits of the way poster here because i felt like it fit because like it was like pinkish there were some spaces here that were annoying me so i just cut up some old pieces of the of, um, spare pictures and i just stuck it there it looks a little bit like weird but like it still looks good look how nice it looks with the setup here obviously when my bed's made it's gonna look a lot better i've put my harley quinn poster here um my tokyo ghoul my Rick and Morty here, and then I put my neighbor Totoro, Ponyo, Spirited Away, um, cut up um, a old Black Panther poster and a Peter Pan poster, put like two Disney postcards there just to fill up the space, and I put like a Mount Fuji post here. I put up the last bit of like pink photos, and then I put my Infinity War poster on my bathroom door, and then I put some vines here. So ignore how I look, I'm really tired. I've been working on my room all day. The plan is, is that I still have to set up my LED strip lights, so I'm gonna do that now. Um, I have a Galaxy projector either coming Sunday, which is tomorrow, or Monday. I also have a mirror that's coming Tuesday as well, so I might put that somewhere like maybe here or something like that i'm not sure depending how big the room the mirror is and i set up the led strip lights so you can see that do you notice it stops there because i thought it would be long enough so i'm gonna buy myself another one hopefully it'll come tomorrow monday and i'll connect it so that goes all the way around here this is so sick like look so this is blue green red red look at red look at red yo look at red yeah there's so many different colors I am so in love with this. And this is supposedly pink. I think, mm, I'm not really sensitive to pink. Oh yeah, this is more pink-ish. Ooh, yo, this looks so sick with my wall as well. Oh my days, this is so sick. Two days later. Hey guys, it's Monday. It's been two days since I vlogged. Yesterday I was resting, I was tired. You know how it is. But like, yeah, let me show you a little update on my room. Okay, so this is my little pink area. Um, my bed's been made and everything, so you can see it's all nice, all that. So I put up these posters, put up these vines and all that. I cleaned my desk, so my desk actually looks presentable now. Over here, we have my printer 
just you know hand sanitizer and air freshener and stuff like that vinyls more glasses because i love to drink water and hot chocolate and stuff it's my little uh, religious areas so like my bibles and my study bible books etc my leisure reading books my textbooks um manga books and comic books um my vinyl player um my wig that i use the most so i just decided to put that on the side a cute little um art piece that my friend made so shout out to Sazaya if she's seeing this mirror and like my lucky teddy bear over here i decided to um put my death note poster and my harry potter ravenclaw poster because i'm part of ravenclaw obviously one of the best houses and i decided to flex a little bit and put like my karate achievements so this is one of my grading certificates and this is one of my competition certificates and these are all the medals i've won I oh shoot these are all the medals I've won, so I decided to put that in. And I went to Model United Nations in first year, so I decided to post my little thing from when I went. Put a little vine there. I have two Rick and Morty posters, so I decided to put the other one on the door. These are just my pink pajamas. Then here is where my other two wigs are, and just like my hair stuff and my skincare stuff. And then you guys have seen this area. So two boxes came for me today, so we're going to open them now. I'm going to show you because I think that sh they should be the things that I need for my room. This is what ended up being in the packages. Obviously, this is just the continuation of my LED strip lights and my galaxy projector. So it's supposed to show kind of like a little starry night sky on your ceiling, which is I find really, really cool. I'm really excited to set this up. So yeah, let me set it up and I'll show y'all. Right. So I just did a bad thing. Just did a bad thing. So I cut the second pair of LED strip lights in the wrong way. So I can no longer connect it to my first pair um ciao anyway so that was a flop so i'm just gonna remove the second pair and i'm just gonna leave it like that because to be fair it's already like uh, i don't know what to do now yeah you know what i'm gonna leave it like that which is incredibly annoying but we move sha uh, i don't know what to do i don't know what to do start crying i'm actually gonna start crying and those ones on the top are gonna rip too and I put out the printing ink. So let me tell you what my dumbass just did, yeah. So let's 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 rewind, yeah. So y'all know I was putting out my LED strip lights, the second pair. I don't know how to explain it, but like the way I cut it, there was no there was no way for me to be able to connect it to the circuit of the first one. And I realized that after I stuck it on to my wall. So I'm like calm let me remove them yeah this is where i wasn't thinking i forgot that the end bit stuck to like four of the photos as i stuck with this people watching as i was removing the last bit my pictures ripped like all four of them and as i was trying my best to remove it at the end the end bit got stuck to an extra two photos so those ones ripped too so i've ripped six photos from my wall so well done to me now i'm trying to rush to the library thing is yeah because of corona the library is no longer 24 7 so i have to try my best to go to the library before it closes at five okay so um it's a couple hours later i made it to the library i got everything printed out i had a panic attack but we're really not going to talk about that there is still a picture that has a tear on it like let me show you i don't know if you can notice it but like there's a tiny tear right there so i'm going to replace it um tomorrow the one i printed out for that one was too small yeah i'm going to finally show you the final product of my room Um, my room is finally set up. I'm so proud of it. It looks so 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 good So the only thing missing from my room is a mirror. I've already ordered that that should be coming tomorrow Wednesday So when it comes I'll insert a clip right here. Okay, so I decided I'm going to put my mirror here just because it's just the best place to put it and Yeah, I just moved that white thing that was there 
to that side over there. This will be the last time I'll decorate my university accommodation. The next time I decorate a room properly will probably be for my own house, like after my first job, which is crazy. Time actually really flies. Like, you know, it, it felt like yesterday I was filming in my first year room and now I'm decorating for my final year of studies. Hopefully by God's grace, I will be graduating. You see, I'm already making the most of it. Like if I'm gonna be doing online classes, might as well be vibing while I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully you guys like the video. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. You know what to do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Mm -hmm.